hello out there today we are going to take a very important chat you know uh, bug from the web application security that is about ssrf what is ssrf ssrf stand for server side request forgery server side request forgery is simply an attack where a server will make a request for an attacker either to a local or to a remote source and then return a response containing the data resulting from the request Actually, this uh, particular attack will uh, more or less act like an, you know, uh, what proxy or VPN does for you. Whenever you are just using a proxy or VPN, what does it do? It, it basically, you know, fetch the request on behalf of you and uh, present the response back to you. Okay. Now, uh, if an application is not properly configured, then in that case, an attacker can launch multiple kind of attacks using this uh, bug. Now, some of the uh, most popular one is like uh, reading the local uh, file, okay, which are important to the system. At the same time, attacker can also do a post scanning. Uh, at the same time, they can interact with a different kind of uh, application that are hosted on internal apps, which are otherwise directly prohibited to the user, okay. Uh, they can also uh, be used to read the metadata of cloud like AWS Azure keys are there. Okay, I'll be presenting some of the interesting case when I have I'll be hosting my own you know uh, lab for the same. But today I will be using uh, to you know a lab from uh, THM that is uh, Surfer to demonstrate the bug uh, before you. Uh, they can also be chained further to you know uh, launch an RC uh, uh, on the services of the application. Now. Uh, more or less more or less is a kind of bug that cannot be ignored because it still uh, stands in the top 10 list of the worst uh, checklist of uh, web application security so uh, before uh, um, in in order to understand the same i think uh, we need to understand that where we should look for this kind of thing for example there is an image server and it try to you know resize the image using the uh, user supplied url but uh, an attacker may modify the URL or the first the URL in such a way that it try to access the local files. Okay, so uh, these are the some some use cases. At the same time, you can also uh, read some of the resources out there in Google in order to understand uh, the kind of uh, exploit scenarios uh, which can be possible uh, to you know uh, uh, exploit the same. Now coming to, coming to this uh, problem. Uh, that is before us is the THM uh, surfer. Uh, in some time only, I'll be launching that lab, and I hope that you'll be finding this lab very interesting. And this lab is all about uh, exploiting a uh, functionality in the application that is uh, that basically exports a PDF for the application. And at the same time, it will also demonstrate demonstrate you the uh, concept of you know uh, a weak authentication whenever there's some guessable password are used. So what I'll be doing, I'll be just forging the application as usual, as the you know first step of any pen tester, uh, uh, you know, uh, like you have to recon the application to find out the weak points in it, and then you have to try uh, look for the exploits or the kind of bugs, uh, kind of vulnerability that can be exploited further to get a hold on the application. So I just uh, try to check in the robot.txt and I just find a chat message over there, and the chat message is hinting towards the uh, use of a weak credential or the default credentials by the application. Now the default, I'll be using that default credential as admin admin and uh, I'll be just, uh, and it will help me to log into the application. And once I've logged in the application, it is showing me that the internal page of the application are hosted in this particular thing. So let's copy this particular URL and keep it for the future references. Now, uh, I'll be just uh, firing up my bub uh, to intercept uh, the same because it's a popular proxy and at the same time it will be helping me in many other ways to first the applications. So you can see that export.pdf just presented a PDF before us, uh, um, you know, giving me giving us all the informations. Now let's see how we it can be used to read the uh, internal files over here. So, uh, uh, first, uh, 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 the first thing that I'll be trying to do, I'll just uh, you know, uh, try to put the local URL of the applications and try to present that uh, URL that we have copied over there. So, let's try to uh, paste the copied URL in the uh, request itself and I hope uh, that will be of some help to us. 
let's see uh, so let's uh, press the export.pdf and let's uh, put it into a repeater and let's try to put the uh, url that you have copied uh, if you try oh, once i had tried to exploit this url to access some external resources like evil.com just to check whether the thf has properly sanitized the lab or not but it is well sanitized for the external url it is only allowing uh, to access the url which are meant uh, for this particular lab and uh, at the same time, at the same time, um, see, uh, I have just launched evil.com, but it's not fetching any any response to us. So I'll be just straight away uh, go to our challenge and try to exploit in a desired way. So I'll be just putting the uh, uh, so Diwali mode is on. So you must be getting the sound of firecrackers, though firecrackers are banned, but. Uh, okay the people are there and they are enjoying in their way uh, ignoring the environment but i'll just request all of you that uh, please uh, uh, it's a time to you know look for our environment as well and give give it a consideration so otherwise it will not exist the human survival is totally dependent on that thing so sorry uh, to try to make a, uh, just a debating from the topic for a bit see uh, we have not found anything uh, of i think of interest here uh, by putting the uh, desired url and let's try to see the response in the you know re, uh, current session so that uh, sorry i'm just uh, doing in the wrong side i have to uh, take it in the response side okay so let's uh, try to see what is there i think i have uh, stopped my bob over here um uh, no uh, yes i have just stopped my bob uh, see i just forgot to click uh, the inter uh, bob interceptions that's why i'm i'm just getting the certificate error uh, because I have not imported the certificate in this particular browser also and at the same time uh, I'm just uh, okay uh, so uh, nevertheless uh, see okay let's uh, switch to the Bob proxy and let's uh, refire the request and here we get okay so it is saying that the page can be locally accessed so let's try to put the uh, local uh, loopback, uh, loopback address instead of uh, putting 10.10.140.30 and I, I think that that will help us to you know complete the challenge as well so let's try to put that and i hope uh, so far our videos on different uh, web applications topic and other uh, things resources which are important for uh, a pet duster uh, is helping you uh, uh, in a bit and uh, uh, is helping you to save in shaping you know career so please if uh, if you're finding our channel interesting then please recommend to your friends as well and uh, try and help us to grow and uh, I, I i definitely f and at the same time you can also reach us uh, via comment section so that we can also improve our content if uh, any way you feel that it requires a uh, improvement then we'll be happy to incorporate that and uh, see i'm again just trying to do uh, the export.pdf in order to fetch the request in desired way and uh, intercept the same you know during during actually during real time uh, real time fuzzing uh, real time pen testing you have you need to fudge the application in various ways sometimes it's not always perfect picture perfect thing okay so uh, you have to consider these all these things as a part of that okay you may skip it or you may, you may speed up the video at this particular portion which i'm not doing it because i have always tried to create the video keeping the view of a beginner okay instead of a pro uh, so that they can also understand that uh, what uh, what the thing that is going behind this uh, in exploiting a particular bug so uh, it is about that so let's try to put the url um internal url and let's try to see that mm okay so we are posting pasting the same i think it will help it will help to achieve the result okay so let's see what we are getting from here ah so we have got our flag and let's try to validate this, validate this, validate this flag uh, by going into the thm page and i hope that we have a, we have a, successfully completed the challenge but let's validate it first to see whether actually we have done it or not or is there something uh, other thing that is uh, so surfer yes surfer is there now this particular this particular uh, you know uh, account i have uh, recently uh, some of my friends has uh, 
uh, purchased and uh, we are just uh, i'm just you know uh, trying to increase my rank as soon as possible but you know because of uh, several other engagement i you know sometimes i has to give up all these things so see uh congratulations we have completed the lab successfully and i hope that you have understood a uh, concept of uh, uh, you know ssrf and uh, ways to exploit it uh, and in my next uh, next time i'll be putting my uh, putting my putting up my own lab setup uh, where where i'll be you know deploying different kind of scenarios to exploit the uh, ssrf bug uh, till the time thank you for your watching and please subscribe us and uh, please help us to grow uh, so that uh, you know your uh, so that it can be benefit to everyone and thank you for your time have a great day